Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. I've got the Tarot of Traditions on the table, and I want to do a reading for the Royals in October. And I'm having a heck of a time finding a deck that wants to play. Uh, so this is how I actually pass the cards. I kind of shuffle them, I clear them, and then I say to them, are you willing to do a reading about the Royals in October? And then I just separate them. Six of Swords in reverse. No, it is not. All right. So then I go on to the next deck. So this is just your basic Rider Waite deck. Are you willing to do a reading on the Royals for October? Are you willing to do a reading on the Royals for October? Uh, five of Pentacles in reverse. So that tells me it's wanting. Uh, it's, it's, yes, I know Five of Pentacles in reverse is, uh, can be, you know, returning or whatever, but it's still a wanting card. It's still overcoming poverty. I'm going to ask the predictions deck because I know we have some royals in here, some royal iconography. Do you want to do, are you willing to do a predictions reading for the royals in October? I've already asked three other decks that are not recorded, and I'm glad they weren't because the cards that came up were not very polite. Are you willing to do a reading for the Royals in October? Oh, interesting. Strategy planning. Yes. So this tells me, yes, it is because it's strategy and planning. All right, then. So let's do it. Let's see. The Royals in October. The Royals in October with the Predictions deck. The Royals in October with the Predictions deck. What can we expect for the Royals in October? What can we expect for the Royals in October? What can we expect for the Royals in October? Cards are ready. Oh, did you see that? Just one slipped out. So let's see. Shadow Ruler. Wow. Shadow Ruler. You know, Pilot Gal did that reading and asked if William Orr is in charge. You should go and see it. Moon. No. Unclear. Big news. Big news. Interesting, we have all feminine energy right now. Mosquito, airborne, health matter. Uh oh. Are we going to hear big news about a uh, royal who is not well? Um. And it'll be unclear what they have. We are in uh, the air epoch. Big news. I think, I think we will definitely, I'm, look at, I'm shaking. That's weird. I have nothing to shake about. Big news, health matters. Shadow ruler. I wonder if, and look at, I want to show you something. There's king cards in her hand. King of hearts and king of spades. King of hearts is the king of cups and the king of spades is the king of swords. And all you know, who watch me, king of swords is William and king of cups is daddy, King Charles. Can you see that? King of spades, king of hearts, shadow ruler. Big news, health matter. Compromised, harmful, unclear. Ooh, what's the clock? Cyclone damage, big news. Planned outcome. 
Uh oh. Something big news cyclone damage. There's some kind of big, big news coming out. Health matter. So many people. Security cameras. Oh, somebody's been recorded doing something. Planned outcome. So we have two planned outcome cards here. And this planned outcome is looking at that planned outcome. I'm going to have to get some clarifiers. Evan, you have two business tycoon, tornado winds, cyclone winds, tornado winds. I'm getting like whirlwind of activity. Whirlwind of activity. I wonder if this is Charles. Look at him all buttoned up. Tie, suit and tie. Business tycoon. Tornado wind. Something is urgent. Act now. Drone strike. Tsunami, rising water, boy, stormy month. Now, I've done a couple of months. These last couple of months, I actually said it's going to be pretty slow. Like, it's going to be, I think when, in one reading, I got the seesaw. It's going to be like some good, some bad news. Uh, not a, you know, as is. And, you know, they're all back from holidays. They're all back at work. And I said that would happen. I mean, you don't have to be a card reader to know that happens every end of September. Something is replace or exchange. What? Something is definitely going to happen in the royal family. Urgent act now. We, we've got like whirlwind. It's interesting. Most of this is wind and the stormy plant and we got the tsunami rising water. So um, somebody rising to the top. That's what I'm getting. Replace or exchange. Trains or transport. Volcano and mountains heart. Surprise attack and drone strike. Banking, currency, big city. I think that because we have the business tycoon banking currency here, there's something to do with money. Surprise attack, drone attack, volcanoes and the storm. And so everything is, I think they're going to have a hell of a month, a hell of a month. I think they're all going to be in London. Um, I think Charles is going to have to return from Balmoral. I'm not too sure how long he was going to stay there anyways. Um, I'm wondering if this has anything to do with Harry surprise attack or, you know, his coming in into town. We have the big city here. So I'm wondering if something is, is with, with Harry when he comes to London because trains transport and big city surprise attack, public life burnout. Ooh, I wonder if Anne is going to retire. I wonder if Anne is going to retire. Classified knowledge, coerce, manipulate, disappointing outcome. The greater good. Something's going to happen, guys. I want. I don't want to say what I think it is. I think we're going. We possibly, actually, we possibly could see William doing a co-regency or taking over. Public, publicly for the greater good, disappointing outcome, meaning, you know, um, we have a lot of doctor things on here. So I'm wondering if the disappointing outcome is we will finally hear the truth about what's going on with Charles, especially all these planned outcomes. Are they, you know, do they know the end is nigh? Do they know the end is nigh? Um, you know, this coerce, manipulate, like, are we, you know, with, I see he's been very happy lately. Uh, you know, is, is that part of, like, it's classified knowledge. 
Is that part of, um, you know, letting us know that everything's okay, but we have public life burnout and if for the greater good, disappointing outcome. So, you know, can you hear the announcement now? We're disappointed to announce that, um, you know, King Charles is at the end of his, uh, his cancer treatment. And unfortunately, uh, there's nothing more we can do for him. Or some such thing. Because it's something here. Somebody takes over for the greater good. But I'm wondering if this is um, Anne, public life burnout. We've done some readings about her that uh, she may not be back uh, full time because of her injuries from the fall that she had. I think that I'm planned outcome. I think we got the planned outcome twice. I'm going to see if we can clarify that because we did get it twice. So maybe like they already know it's whatever cancer he has is incurable. Planned outcome. Planned outcome. Clarify planned outcome, please. Disappointing outcome, planned outcome for the greater good. Um, and it's health, health matters, big news. Clarify this planned outcome since we got two of them, please. Oh, spreading, mutating. I wonder if that's his cancer spread. Mm, I bet that's I bet that's his cancer is spread and mutating into different um, organs. Let's ask. That's out outright ask. This is about King Charles. This about King Charles. This about King Charles. This about King Charles. This about King Charles. Is this about King Charles? Oh, royal family. <laughs> Honestly, these cards. Yes, we know it's about the royal family, but I think it's about the one who wears the crown and holds the scepter. Well, it's not the scepter. The I'm I'm in shock actually. <laughs> this is about King Charles, royal family. You honestly, these cards, honestly. Well, here comes October for the royal family. And we have to remember King Charles is going into his Saturn time, 52 days before his birthday in October. And uh, those are the most dangerous times of, of your solar year. And, uh, yeah. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please take good care of yourself. See you online. Bye for now. <laughs>